Your Honor, just for ease of maintenance, may I approach and have a yes. unredacted version? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seems to be a pressure. Okay. Hand over that report. Thank you. Uh, if you look on the left column, Ms. McCabe, yes. uh, you'll see something that says Apple ID. Mm. Yes. Look to the right of it. You mm. recognize that unredacted course, and I don't want you to read it out or anything. You recognize that? Yes. Whose Apple ID is that? S9. I bet it is. Um, six lines below that. There's a full phone number. Again, don't leave the phone number out. So if you recognize it. I do. Mm -hmm. Who's is that? That's fine. Are there some? Yes. Are there perhaps some problems with the phone log? Mixed up. Little little phone log discrepancy. Does this appear to be uh, cell right attached to your phone records? Your Apple ID. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, Celebrite, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is a very common police tool that's used to dump all the content of a phone to get all the information off the phone, all the hidden information, all the system information, all the information from the phone. So it's used to extract any information that's on the phone. It's a very common tool used for that purpose. So this is a report, apparently, of a dump of her phone that was done forensically. So, okay, let's see what that report has to say. Guys, without telling you what it is, you recognize that phone number is your phone number back at the time and the mm -hmm. Apple ID back at the time. Yes. Associated with the phone, you then turn it in to one hours, but correct. Correct. Um, you just looked at the extraction report for, for John O'Keefe's phone. Did you saw his calls <laughs> uh, between your phone and John O'Keefe's phone after going from twelve fourteen after that all the way up to twelve fifty? Correct. Correct. Uh huh. Take a look at the last couple of pages, page three and four of your own <laughs> cell phone extraction report. Yeah. And so, so, so earlier she looked at a copy of John's phone and his report, and his report showed phone calls to her phone. So those phone calls should also be reflected from her phone's data, right? There should be a match. Because he's calling her phone. There's a record this way. So there should be a matching record the other way, right? Both sides of the transaction. There should be a record on both sides. Is there not a record on both sides of the transaction? Has some of the data been manipulated from your phone? Mmm, fun times. If you see a single call listed between you and John O'Keefe for January 29th between 1214 and 1250. Nope. Don't see any of those records. Not there, is it? You can keep looking. It ain't there. You know it's not there. You know it's not there. We know it's not there because there's no way the attorney would ask the question if it was there. Please show us on the report where the information is. The only reason he asks that question is because it's not there. You can look, but we know it's not there. But keep looking if it'll make you happy. There are calls to a number that I'm assuming is John. I'm just not sure. Uh -huh. um, I see a call. Wait a minute. This report has times everywhere. It's chronological, except for the call for the deleted. It's chronological except for the calls that were deleted, which makes sense, right? Because it's a, it's a dump from her cell phone. So it's going to give you every record in chronological order, but it can't give you the records it doesn't have because perhaps they were deleted, perhaps by the user. Could be that because who else would it be when you're talking about the phone and the phone extraction report? It would have to be someone in control of the phone. Perhaps you? Yeah. You see a call... 552 to John O'Keefe's phone. Mm -hmm. I see a call at 552, yes. 
there is not a single call before 5.52 no. a.m. No. Between 12.14 and 12.50 a.m. No. Not one. There, there is a. This, it's very hard to rep this report um, time wise. Uh huh. We're seeing this on report. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that it goes from 721 to 552 to 733 to 749. There's no order. They're out of order. I understand and that. Okay, but can you look at every one of the entries? And not a single entry of 12 horse. No. 13. No. Any assess for 12, 20 or any assess for phone calls. They're all shown on John or Did you believe really that? Yep. They're all on John's cell phone, but not yours. Thank you. The amazing deleted entries. The fact of the matter is, according to those cell right records and that extraction from your old phone, Every one of the calls that you made to John O'Keefe's phone between twelve twenty nine and preacher between twelve fourteen and twelve fifty a.m. was deleted and unrecovered. Correct. I didn't understand that report. Oh yeah, I'm not an expert. Mm. Here too, you saw a bunch of calls on John O'Keefe's phone. I, you know, he couldn't have needed them. Passed away. Mm. Right. Yeah. Correct. So. Your cell phone extraction, which is the handshake, it's our key spot, and all of your calls are missing. Objection. Are you, can you answer that question? I'm confused. That paper, I don't understand it. It was vague. There were mm -hmm. numbers. There were calls everywhere. There was a number of missing calls. But the bunch of missing calls, right? You didn't see any of the calls that were reflected on John and Keith's spot. Is that right? Yes or no? They're not there. A lot of calls are missing. I'm not really even sure what's there because the numbers are all, it's all redacted. So the, the uh -huh. you were not seeing any redacted calls. The page you just had in front of me was redacted. It's now an exhibit. Now I'm that your personal information went to that number yeah. call were redacted. The numbers, I don't know people's phone numbers. I just have the mess contacts. Yeah, you just said a second ago, and I we could do this all day long, or we could speak some old. The fact of the matter is that report did not show any of the calls that John O'Keefe's phone report showed, correct? Right? 1214. Mm -hmm. I believe there was one on there. 552. That's the next morning now, right? Were there other calls in that time period on to celebrate? You just said there were. Yeah, you sure did. did. I've told you that that celebration. Right report was extremely hard to read. It, it might be extremely hard to read because the information is there. I mean, I, I will give her this much. It is very hard to read data that is not on the page. That That is definitely a difficult skill. If you give me a book and the page is blank, it is kind of hard to read it. I mean, th that is that is true. I, I am not fluent or literate in blank. So I, I share her frustration with the missing data. Yeah, I wonder how it got missing though, huh? The well, fact is, there are no calls on your own phone extraction yeah. between you and John O'Keefe between 1214 and 1250. You just do that, at least on that report. Objection, Aaron. Sustain. The fact is that you deleted your call record uh -huh. through your phone in Judas in case. That's what that report shows. Absolutely not. Uh huh. Because she didn't want police to know who you had been calling or the fact that you had been calling John O'Keefe's phone yep. and Seth, correct? Incorrect. Uh -huh. I willingly turned over my phone. After you deleted your phone call logs. <laughs> yeah, correct? Absolutely not. What day did you turn your phone over? Possibly February 3rd. Uh -huh. Exactly. after the incident was that? Uh-huh. I've been two days, right? Four or five. So you had plenty of time yeah. So we'll talk to that friends and family group and ultimately decide to delete your phone calls. Correct? Check. Yeah. Sustained. Yeah. So it looks like we might have deleted a few entries on our phone. Not a lot of potential suspects there because it would have had to be someone in physical control of the phone. 
right? Because it's a phone dump. So we have John's phone. It has the records. Obviously, his entries weren't deleted because he was dead. So his phone was preserved. Your phone doesn't have the records. Someone in control of phone must have deleted the entries from the phone. Whoever could it be? It's so hard to tell. 